Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome to the channel update news for January. I just wanted to take a few minutes real quick and go through a list of my notes for the plan upcoming plans for the channel news in January. Basically, the Russ Robo channel news has basically been around ever since I started trying to bring the channel back up to speed. And it gives me a chance to let you guys know what's going on, what all I have planned, what games I'm still going to be playing and what other content that I'm including even aside from games. So I always I always keep a bullet point of notes for whatever content that I'm doing. That way I let people know, you know, what all the channel is going to be doing for that month cuz sometimes people, you know, they might start like they it answers questions as well as well. It's a good chance to answer any questions that the audience might have like Gee, I haven't seen him play that game in a month. Is he even doing content like that anymore? Is he even going to play that game anymore? Sometimes people never know. So I take this opportunity with the monthly news to keep people up to date and up to speed on what I'm doing with the channel. That way, you know, they know. And as a matter of fact, well, I don't know. When the channel news gets a little bit better, a little bit more professional, it might replace my intro video uh, each month. But for now, I'm just going to stick to what I know. So, the first bullet point I made on here is finishing up on Fate. Uh, for January, the first plan I have is to do some more Fate content and try to actually get as close as possible or actually finish the main storyline. You know, the main little boss on Fate, I'll, I try to put like a, a little annotate, not necessarily an annotation, but like a little example video of Fate somewhere in a corner somewhere on this video. But, um, you know, actually get near the ending storyline of that, um, you know, because uh, there's a lot of grinding involved with that, and, and there, there's a lot of good content there, sort of, sort of try to wrap that up, because I think the ending boss is somewhere around level 50 almost, and I'm almost hitting the 30s, but there's still a lot of grinding to do in order to, I think I mentioned this in a different video, but I wanted to try to um, leave the recorder off, like leave Bandai Cam off, and then if I actually happen to encounter a really tough mob or NPC like a, uh, a boss mob, uh, turn the recording on then and just splice a bunch of boss fights together during, you know, while I'm grinding for levels, and then meet, yeah I did mention that uh, later, I did mention that earlier, and then meet up with the audience on level 30, then again on level 40s, then again on the 50s, all the way to the final boss. The second bullet point on here is, com ah yes, completed um, Robot Arena 2 Tournament of Robotic Champions. So um, last month was, actually just a couple of days ago, was the completion of the heavyweight finals for Robot Arena 2, uh, just the regular um, vanilla, vanilla no mods game, Robot Arena 2. Um, unfortunately I lost to the uh, lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight, but I had a great time, and with each new weight class I got closer and closer to victory. As a matter of fact, um, at the heavyweight class, I was actually, I came in second, just behind Emergency. And I made a few changes around to the bot. Um, I changed the name from Gold Miner to Coal Miner. Uh, that bot actually, an earlier version of it actually pops in one of, um, James Avery's video where I sent the bot to him after the changes had been made but my version of the tournament hadn't been uploaded yet so it still had my old version of the bot then I made all the changes because I lost then I sent the changed new bot to him and he actually put a better flipper on it so I want to try to see if I can emulate that design because I had like a piston design that just goes straight up and straight down to sort of push the bot up and tilt it so that the picks would maybe flip it back if it had its weapons functioning, but I like the idea of a flipper that literally flips back and forth like emergency flippers do, because it would probably it would probably be better at actually self riding the robot. Um, and that's another interesting thing on a side note about Robot Arena 2 or any robotic tournaments. You know, when you're building a bot, every person who builds a bot's going to have their specialties. Uh, I'm pretty good with weapons design, but self-riding mechanisms have never been my strong point. Usually when I know I have a bot that's vulnerable to flipping, I try to make it invertible. I just sort of try to cheese the system and make the tires so big that they're across the entire body, so I, if it flips over, I just reverse the controls. 
because uh, actually designing self-riding mechanisms have never been my strong suit. The second bullet point is, ah, the actual number of characters in Naruto Konoha Legends, which I was actually supposed to look up. Uh, one second, I'm going to look that up real quick. Okay, and we're back. It was actually 11 rows across by 9 rows down. So that actually turns out to be, calculates 11 times 9 is 99 characters. 98 if you don't count the one random slot. So that's actually the number of characters that are actually in that episode, and that would probably make 98 episodes of that series. So um, someone actually subscribed just yesterday and said, uh, please do more of these uh, types of videos. So um, I hope they'll be looking forward to that, because I do plan on going through arcade mode at least once with each character. I can't guarantee a clear, but I can guarantee that I will play for 30 minutes, and then, you know, after I trim the fat, any, any, you know, any, like, after, after cutting, you know, well, uh, once you're done with post, that cuts out a few minutes, so, so far, with the last, I think, four episodes, they've turned out to be about around 24, 25 minutes after I trim the fat, and that's, um, that's actually a lot to look forward to, I'm really looking forward to a lot of these different, um, skills and abilities. I'm going to close that real quick because I've got it open on my computer <laughs> so that I can calculate how many characters were actually on there. So it's like, what in the heck is he looking at? If you wonder, I'm over there looking at my computer to see actually how many characters were on the roster that I'm looking forward to playing, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> the next bullet point on here is resuming play of Pokemon Insurgents. And I'm actually, as I read these, I'm reading them almost exactly as they're written. That way it gives the audience a good idea as to exactly what's all in my head. Um, the last part of that is um, dark mode or the regular, pa uh, regular mode, which uh, I wanted to ask the audience. I know I don't have a lot of, uh, I know I don't have... A, like a huge group so it's hard to get like massive amounts of feedback like some people do but that's okay because it, it allows it allows for like one-on-one -on -one. you know when someone comments I can actually comment back and, and like their comment and see all that stuff so you know sometimes it, it's good to be part of a small community where you know when someone says something I can immediately you know give them a response and it's pretty cool Originally, when I started Pokemon Insurgents in Episode 1, there was an option for like a dark mode storyline, and it said, um, I can't remember what it said, may not be appropriate for younger audiences, Pokemon will die, I guess if they're knocked out, they die, um, something about, uh, I mean, I don't think it's going to be too extreme, it really doesn't seem like it would, because it's still a Pokemon game. Of course, it's not affiliated with actual Nintendo or um, any anything like that. It's a fan-based game. Just like the ending, uh, when I actually do the ending, uh, I custom-made that. I, I browsed their website, scrolled up it, scrolled down it, talked about you know what the website is. That they're you know an awesome you know group of website making a Pokemon Insurgents game, fan-based game. Go check it out. I add the link and all that good stuff and I really want to continue with that because I was having such a great time but you know and then I needed to do Fate then Undertale then more uh, Robot Arena then Fate then Undertale then more Robot Arena and since then I've actually added two or three more games to the lineup um, Spell Force is one uh, let's see what's another one J Star or uh, not J Stars, but Naruto Konoha Legends is another one. So that's basically my plans for January is to finish out some of the games that are you know almost there, especially with Fate and Undertale. Undertale, I think, is one of the next bullet points on here. As a matter of fact, it is finishing up on Undertale Pacifist Realm. So. Um, that's another plan for January. I wanted to try to finish the pacifist route of Undertale. Currently, I am stuck on the boss fight against Flowey. I did not come into that prepared. Um, the last fight was uh, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. I, I beat King Dr 
three more, uh, spared him, then, well, oh, oh, I, I don't know, is that a spoiler alert if the episode's already out? I mean, the episode's out, it's, everybody's seen Undertale, I'm doing an old game, <laughs> but, um, uh, it, it's going pretty well, I think I can beat Flowey, I wanted to try to finish up the, um, the pacifist route, uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean the end of Undertale. If if the audience wants to see me do the um, genocide route, where you kill everything, I could also do that. Which I, I'm kind of looking forward to. It uh, kind of gives you that completion sort of feel. You know, not like, you know, oh, why'd he stop all of a sudden, you know? Because uh, some people don't like to see unfinished work, and, um, you know, I, oh, that's way too dark. I felt like, um, I felt like some people don't like to see unfinished work, and I want to leave as little unfinished work as possible on the channel, of course. Um, the only game that I've started that I know for a fact I won't be able to finish unless there is a miracle is Besieger, which is why I started uh, Spellforge, or Spellforce, because unfortunately Besieger is no longer compatible with any Windows operating system past 7. Once you get to 8 and 10, I haven't found an operating system that can still run it. I've tried running it in compatibility mode, out of compatibility mode, I've tried everything. I, I don't know, I, there might be a mod out there somewhere that makes it work, but eh, yeah, it's so far, and it, it made me feel bad because so far it, it's the series with the most views I have, but it, it was definitely fun if some miracle ever happens where I can continue it. I might start it off from the beginning just to give people a good playthrough of it, you know. Uh, then the next bullet point on this notes is... Oh, we've been 16... Oh, okay. Uh, I was looking at how long we have to left to record. Uh, new Robot Arena 2 mods installed equals new tournaments. Um, I just received two new uh, Robot Arena 2 mods. One was the... Robot Arena 2 DSL 2.2, and the other was not not Robot Arena Forever. I think it was Banter Wars. Um, I just received those from James Avery, which happens to be the very last bullet point on here was thank James Avery. And James is the one that gave me those mods, so you know kudos to him because I've seen some of the bots on there and they look incredible and I can't wait to do a tournament with them for sure. Um, as far as the DSL 2.2 mods, 2.2 uh, mod, I believe that most of the bots on there are like upgraded, really, really beefed up versions of the ones you saw earlier in the tournament of Robotic Champions. Which, I know that's kind of confusing because you're thinking, it's Robot Arena 2, but for some reason he's doing this thing where he's calling it the Tournament of Robotic Champions. Well, I'm Russ Robo. I don't have Banter Wars. That's not, that's not my thing. I can't steal it from somebody else. So I wanted to make my thing the Tournament of Robotic Champions. That's why I call it that. And, you know, maybe someday it'll catch on. But um, for now, that's all my news for January. Those are the plans for January in case you had any questions. And if you have any more questions, you let me know in that comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments you might have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated. And until next time, you take it easy, my friends.